Are you having trouble clearing contents with Risley? Do you feel like he is not dealing enough damage like you see in showcase videos? Having trouble melting the right hit? Then this video is just for you. Here are some tips to skyrocket Risley's damage. Let's start with the first one. Using the right healer. You need to maintain Risley's HP above 50% to get the normal attack damage buff from his elemental skill. He can heal a big chunk of HP with his charged attack that he gets when his HP is below 60%. However, at C0 the healing from his charged attack is not enough for him as there is a 5 seconds cooldown. He will reach 50% HP and that will be a huge DPS loss as his normal attack damage will decrease. So using him with a healer at C0 becomes mandatory. You can completely ignore his ascension passive and use him with strong healers like Bennett, Kuki, Baiju, Kakomi. Or you can go with healers like Mika or Jean who give continuous low healing throughout their skill duration allowing him to reach below 60% HP while also keeping his HP above 50%. This will let him get the special charged attack without losing out on the normal attack buff. However this will be a bit risky as you can get hit by the monsters. I would recommend using Mika or Jean in freeze or mono cryo teams. For melt teams you will mostly need to use Bennett as he will do the job of pyro battery and give a huge attack boost. You can completely ignore the need of a healer or using healers like Jean or Mika at C1. His C1 gives him a gracious rebuke stack after every 5 normal attacks allowing him to do his special charged attack and heal himself consistently. It will also increase his chilling penalty state duration by 4 seconds. This increases his synergy with Bennett who is a strong healer and a buffer as he can get the special charged attack without going below 60% HP. In non-melt teams, it's really easy to use Risley. You just need to spam his normal attacks and use a charged attack when you trigger his ascension 1 passive. You can get to know if his special charged attack is up by the visual cues. A red symbol will appear on him and you will be able to see red flames around his body. His charged attack will shatter the enemies and will make you lose the 4-piece blizzard strayer uptime if you use it. But it is not much of a problem with enough hydro application as reapplying cryo with him is very easy. With characters that have slow hydro application like Barbara, this can be a problem. You can make his combos faster by animation cancelling his last normal attack hits with a dash. In melt teams however, the N5 combo won't work well as Risley will melt on his first hit and the fourth which is not ideal. You will need to make his fifth hit melt. You can do this in two different ways. The first one is N4 skip. In this we will make Risley skip his fourth normal attack so that he can melt his last one. You can do this by dashing when you see him ducking down to deliver the fourth hit, and then continue his combo to melt the last hit. You need precise timing for this, or his fourth hit will steal the melt. You can end this combo with your charged attack to make your first hit melt again and repeat the same combo. This is actually quite easy to do but due to the bug where his combo gets reset after he dashes, makes it more difficult to execute this. Fortunately, this will be fixed in the next patch but that means we have to deal with this for two whole weeks. The other way is quite simple and my most preferred one is it allows him to consistently melt his fifth attack. It is by doing the N3C-N5C combo. You might have heard about the N1C-N5C combo but I have rarely been able to make the last hit melt using that. So from extensive testing I found out that the N3C-N5C combo is much more consistent and easier in making his last hit melt. It is also more stamina efficient. For this one you will need to do three normal attacks followed by a charged attack and do his full normal attack combo and end it with a charged attack again. Then repeat the same combo. Or a variation of the same combo is do one normal attack then use his elemental skill, do his full normal attack combo, and end it with a charged attack. Then repeat doing the N3C and 5C combo. You can make his last attack melt using all these tricks. The N4 skip trick will be easy to do once his bug is fixed. Do keep in mind that getting interrupted will make it more difficult to execute the combos so you might want to use someone like Dehia, Zhongli or Toma that can give him resistance to interruption. The next tip is to skip his C1. Yeah you heard it right. You might be wondering why am I telling you to skip his widely appreciated C1. His C1 does give a comfortable playstyle and some damage increase, but getting a C1 is equal to getting a whole new character. You should use the primogems to get either of the three big buffers of Risley, Farina, Shenha, Kazuha. You can also get Nahida for Burn Melt. Kazuha and Nahida are currently the top supports of this game. Shenha is limited to cryo characters but can buff Risley by a lot. Farina is not released yet so I can't say much about her but since she is an Archon, there's a high chance that she will have synergy with many characters. They will give Risley more damage boost than his C1 and they also give more value to your account as they can be used in other teams as well. So I would recommend you to skip his C1 and go for these characters if you are a F2P or low spender. You can get the C1 during his rerun if you feel the need to do so. Next one is Weapon. 
You might not be using the correct weapon on your Risley. Most of the players use Widza. It is an amazing weapon and can also out DPS many 5 star options in short runs. However, in long runs, the buff from this weapon gets really inconsistent due to its 20 seconds downtime and RNG nature giving you elemental mastery. This reduces your damage by a lot. So in such cases, you should switch to a more consistent weapon. Skyward Atlas, Lost Prayer and some 5 star stat sticks like Tome of Eternal Flow are great options for consistent damage. He has some amazing 4 star F2P choices, like the Ballad of the Boundless Blue which we get at R5 for free. Flowing Purity is also one of his best F2P options but it will cost a lot of resources to take it to R5. You can watch my Flowing Purity and Ballad comparison video for more details regarding this matter. Next tip is for artifacts. Many players might be using Merchisi Hunter set on him just because it is his best artifact set, but you might have some godly artifacts from other good sets sitting in your inventory. This can give you better damage output if your Merchisi pieces are not that great. Vermilion Hereafter, Desert Pavilion, Shimeinawa's Reminiscence, Blizzard Strayer for Freeze and Gilded Dreams for Melt are some good artifact sets to use if your Merchisi Hunter artifacts are lackluster. Giving the right weapons and artifacts to your supports contribute a lot to your damage. Use Favonius weapons on your supports to ensure that your supports have their bursts ready for the next rotation. There can be 1-3 to three Favonius users in your team depending on your energy requirements. You might get less buff from characters like Bennett, Nahida or Kazuha if you give them Favonius but it will ensure that your rotations go smoothly. Make sure to have a Noblesse user in your team. Mika, Bennett, Toma, Diona are some of the good users of Noblesse. It will buff your Risley's damage a lot. In Melt Teams, you can give 4-piece Instructor to Toma or Bennett and equip the other character with Noblesse. You can give the Instructor to Nahida as well if you can cap her EM buff. Do note that external EM boosts also count in her EM buff. Characters like Nahida. Layla could also make use of 4-piece Millilith set, giving additional attack boost to Risley. All these small things matter if you want to maximize on his damage. I hope I didn't miss out on anything. If I did I will add it in pinned comments so make sure to keep checking it. Don't forget to like and share the video. And subscribe for more Genshin videos. Thanks for watching.